Hello, I'm Anthony Russo. I'm Joe Russo, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. I would say that our number one note is, do it again faster, action. Okay. Right. Board so, number one here. So what are the Russo brothers known, known for? for? They're no, devastating no. good looks. Remember back <laughs> online back in the oh, day? The plumbing there's, company? there's a plumbers in New Jersey, the Russo brothers. Yes. And then there's a pair of like, I think Italian singers. They were the original. What are the Russo brothers? Favorite movies. movies. Anything by Sergio Leone. Um, anything by Truffaut. Uh, anything by Coppola. Scorsese. Uh, Scorsese. Kubrick. The Bowery David Boys. Lee. David Lean, any uh, Abbott Costello film. It's almost embarrassing watch. to name our favorite yeah. movies because I feel like they're all the great movies. <laughs> they are. What What if the Russo brothers directed Justice League? I think people I conflate no DC and Marvel. What if? Oh, it's a play off the Marvel series, what if? Is it? I, I, I don't know how to answer that. See the Snyder cut. That's the definitive cut. Yeah. You don't need to see anything else. What did the Russo brothers do on Community. What didn't we do on Community? <laughs> we executive produced that show. We directed, directed a lot of the episodes. We cast that pilot, costumed it, designed it, shot it. Uh, we miss Community. We miss our community family. Yeah. Everybody but Chevy Chase. We miss you too, right, Chevy. Yeah. Not really. What, Question what happened to the result? I don't know what, what didn't happen. It's like a year and a half after Endgame, and they're like, what happened to those guys? It might remember. be that band in, in yeah. Milwaukee that they're referring remember to. Remember when they were hit, their, hit their peak with Endgame, yeah. and then they just fell off the map. All right. There's, How well, were the Russo brothers discovered? But we were at a film festival called Slam Dance in 1997. That's BC. And we had a film called Pieces that was a very nonlinear experimental movie that only Soderbergh would love. Uh, and he did. And he helped us get our next film made. Welcome to Collinwood. And here we are. How many, many films, films have the, have Russo, the Russo brothers, brothers directed? directed? We know the answer to this directed. a lot. Under 10. But there's a lot of TV shows in there. There's a lot of commercials. How do the Russo brothers direct actors? Very carefully. Mm -hmm. You have to. We like to keep the actors from thinking too much. So we do give very concise directorial notes. Most of our work is done in prep with them. So when they get to set, they're ready to go. We love actors and we spend a lot of time speaking with them prior to shooting to sort of develop common understanding of the character, common understanding of the film, what we're going for. Then when we get to set, we like to move fairly quickly. One of us will try to confuse somebody and then the other one will come in and try to clear it we'll up. We'll give them contradictory notes to see who they like better. Yeah. You got that one? Much does a Russo Brothers movie, movie cost. cost? I don't think you can answer <sighs> it's that. A little question. embarrassing to answer that question. You're on the pricey side. I well, think we're at that point well, where there's only so much money you can spend, and anything other, than, like beyond that, is irresponsible. No matter how much money you have, you eventually run out. One, two, how three. Many Russo Brothers are there? Zeppo, <laughs> Harpo. <laughs> Groucho. We I like forget. to point out the name Russo yeah. is similar to the name Jones in Italian in the sense there's, there's a lot of them. What does the Agbo. Russo Brothers Agbo mean? Agbo. Agbo is an interesting story that predates our time in the film business. Yeah. Ant and I were working on a comedy show at a school we were both attending. We thought a great way to attract attention for this midnight comedy show we were doing on campus was to have a very grumpy local resident write a really shitty review. But everything he hated about the show is everything we loved about the show. So we opened a phone book and basically just scanned through it until we found the name Gozi Agbo. And Gozi Agbo became that angry local resident who trashed our show. What I like about our, the name of our company the most, Agbo, is it makes me feel like I'm at the eye doctor and I have to read the chart. What is the Russo Brothers style? Smooth, yeah, cool under pressure, Bond-esque. A common thread in our style is that we like to not have a common thread. Something Soderbergh taught us very early on uh, when he was mentoring us was don't let the world pigeonhole you. Don't let them put you in a box. We zig and zag as much as we possibly can, and it's more compelling to us to uh, uh, leave a trail of confusion. What are the Russo brothers' influences? influences? When we first started making movies together, 
if you forced us to say our favorite filmmaker, Truffaut might have come out of our mouth. I think so. He was the best at balancing humor and tragedy. What Marvel movies have the Russo brothers directed? I mean, I think the easier answer is you just Google that. So go Google it. Okay, are the Russo brothers? I mean, that's like very philosophical. Are the Russo brothers done, done with, with Marvel? Marvel? Oh, man, that's a shitty question. <laughs> We're not going to answer that question. Are the Russo brothers good directors? I mean, question. it's another shitty question. <laughs> I mean, know. that really is a subjective uh, question. Yeah. So I think you have to answer that for yourselves. Or go to Twitter and let someone else tell you. Are the Russo brothers auteurs? No, we're not, actually. We don't like the, uh, uh, the notion of auteur filmmaking because there are a thousand people that work on a movie, you sit at the film and you watch the credits roll, we uh, reject the auteur theory. How do you like that? Uh, are the Russo brothers? Releasing a six hour end game. I think the longest we ever had it was like three hours and 40 minutes. If we did a super cut of right. Infinity War and end game, we there could may probably between the two, there could be a six hour cut. cut. Yeah. But I think those 40 minutes deserve to be on the editing floor. Yeah, that's so why they get, went there in the first place. You got the director's cut. Yeah. That's it. There's nothing else. Sorry. Yeah. Why the Russo brothers? Why were the Russo brothers hired? I would put the question, were we in fact hired? Do we even exist? I don't know. Are we sitting here right now? I'll tell you this. A few times that I've been hired, it's because I really know how to bust tables. Why do the Russo brothers direct together? Oh. Because it's better than directing apart? <laughs> we learned how to make movies together. And I think that, that we just began a process with one another that just continued Good. to grow. Uh, why did the Russo brothers kill Loki? He deserved to die. That's all we're saying on that. <laughs> why did the Russo brothers kill Iron Man? Ah, oh, jeez. I see where this die. is going now. He deserved to die. <sighs> why did the Russo brothers hate the Hulk? Oh, we is... nerfed the Hulk. We nerfed him. Uh, we just didn't know what to do with them. We we're like, what, this big, powerful character? What do we do with this big, powerful character? Can you find out who wrote this question? I'd like to no. talk to them. What would no. you say to them? Uh, to say to people who think we nerfed the Hulk, he deserved it. Lots of controversial yeah. Marvel fans responding. This one is just Russo Brothers. Mm. It's very philosophical as well, Russo Brothers. Can the Russo Brothers speak Italian? Un poco. We grew up in a very large Italian family, a very colorful Italian family in Cleveland, Ohio. And I think our love for storytelling started at a very young age where we'd all sit around the dinner tables on Sundays as our extended family. There'd be 20, 30 people at a dinner, have multiple tables set up. Our great grandmother would cook pasta. And we tell each other stories about what happened that week and make each other laugh. You'd, uh, our notion of this you know, communal storytelling comes from our dinners uh, every Sunday and, you know, our love for telling stories. Probably one of the most significant influences on us as artists was um, growing up in the family that we grew up in. Yeah, I think so. And I also think that, you know, our grandparents immigrated, our, gra our great grandparents immigrated. When you have a family with an immigrant history, there's a journey uh, uh, inherent in the family story that you came from somewhere and you're going to somewhere. And that there's sort of like those big questions about identity and purpose. That sort of spoke to our larger interest in storytelling. Uh, Russo Brothers. New, new movie, movie, The, the Gray, Gray Man. Man. Starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans and Anna de Armas. It's an action thriller. It uh, derives from our love of action thrillers as, as kids and film fans growing up. We like complex thematics. We think there's some really interesting modern thematics in the movie. Uh, it's one of those movies where we hope, uh, you know, if you're uh, eating your uh, popcorn in the theater that you forget to eat it for most of the movie, or if you're at home watching it that you put down your cell phone. What distinguishes this movie most from the action that we've done before is that it's more grounded in the, the real world. It's not a sci-fi world, it's not a fantasy world. It's the world we all live in. While there's many dimensions of the story that are larger than life, it still stays tethered to what human beings are capable of and limited by. Did the Russo brothers go to film, film school? school? That's an interesting yeah. question. Yes and no. Because we made a movie. We made a fir our first movie, an independent film, before we went to film school. Then we went to film school to use their equipment to finish the movie. Then we took that film to, while we were still in film school, to Slamdance, got to Severed by Soderbergh, 
Steven Soderbergh, dropped out of film school. So we yeah. really never finished film school. Yeah. We did it a bit backwards, but I will say this. I think we both really appreciated our time there. We did. So who we, did the Russo brothers say is the strongest Avenger? I think we said Wanda at one point. Captain Marvel, another point, Thor. Certainly uh, never said it's the Hulk. Certainly not the Hulk. No. He'd be low on the list, like yeah. right underneath Gru. Remember Gru the Wanderer? He's <laughs> like just below Gru the Wanderer. We, All right, last we question skipped we skipped once. So we're going to go back, but we know it's the best question, so we saved it for last. Did the Russo brothers make Stranger Things? <laughs> yes, this we did. This is my favorite last question. We right? made Stranger Things. Yeah. We did not make Stranger Things. All credit on that goes to the Duffer brothers, who are uh, incredibly talented, who are also twins. We are not twins. Right, we're not twins. Right, the Duffers are twins, right? Yeah, they're twins, yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> I think my favorite question was, are the Russo brothers? Google's a powerful tool. It's interesting to know what, uh, what people think of you. Uh, and apparently, our legacy uh, lies somewhere between the Duffer brothers and nerfing the Hulk. Mm -hmm.